official match found in sim experience database profile modified good let's see what that is What's up, Sim Races Alert? TJR Sim here, and today we're going to cover uh, cloud tuning. We're going to cover it for the AccuForce. The Sim Experience, of course, website does list out the cloud tuning. But real quick, what is it? It is an auto tuner for you. You don't have to auto tune. It is exactly what you've been wanting. Uh, when I get comments from people like, oh, I don't want to go to AccuForce because I don't want to uh, figure out how to tune it and all that, and so you know, Acu or, or Sim Commander 4 has gotten this this great reputation as far as uh, being the most customizable program to get the exact feel you want per car, uh, per track combo, but it also is the most daunting one to do. And so <laughs> I suppose they got tired of hearing that and uh, took it upon themselves to create an auto tuner for you. So you literally can just launch your favorite game that has cloud tuning on it and uh, pick your car and combo and go out there and don't worry about coming back to your settings you don't need a, a second screen somewhere to where you can just start modifying settings on the fly and spending an hour per car and, and track combo uh, to have a good time so obviously there are the people that want to spend that extra time and do that and that's still there nothing wrong with that if you want to but I've spent thousands of hours I say thousands but it's probably been thousands of hours over all these years that I've had uh, sim commander uh, whether it was with transducers and then went to the Anki force uh, tuning uh, the tracks and all that so tracks and car combos and stuff so uh, uh, it turns out it was a waste of time because now you just have cloud tuning and it's it's all uh, uh, on them it's on some experience to get cloud tunes for us per the cars and tracks and stuff so it's great literally just launch launch uh, you launch your favorite game that you want and has cloud tuning on it uh, which all, all the popular ones do now the real true sims out there have cloud tuning on it already and um, uh, yeah you're golden uh, it tells you that it was a partial match or a full match uh, basically if it's a partial match it just mainly means that it's covering the car and it may not have all the data points that it needs for the track uh, but it has enough data points for the car to say yeah the car's golden and it's gonna uh, react really good uh, in this situation but maybe not optimize for that particular track so um, in my experience using partial tuning on some of the cars and stuff worked fine uh, didn't couldn't didn't feel like I was lacking anything so a really good setup literally a plug-and-play experience at this point so uh, like I said it's gonna work with everything that sim experience uh, so you can imagine when you got the sim experience AccuForce wheel you got the motion and then uh, well I don't have the motion but if you have the motion uh, the sim experience motion that is and then you have the new G belt that's coming out and you have the G seat and it's doing all that configuration for you automatically I mean it was really good that they did this because uh, I mean that was one of the limiting factors limiting factors I had is like man, I don't want to keep buying more and more of this stuff and having to tune it all the time you know okay let me get my transducers tuned now I get my wheel tuned the way I like it now I get my seat motion tuned the way I like it man that's too much work so I ain't got enough time in the day uh, to do that so it auto tunes for you automatically which is great now of course they always had the auto tuner before um, foundation tra and then of course foundation steering as well and uh, so that's still all there the cloud tuning does not work for foundation at the time that I'm releasing this video but it is coming soon and it sounds like a month away uh, to, to hit the uh, hit the shelves so and uh, yeah really good stuff real good stuff so uh, the community's building uh, you will notice a few few things if you're new to sim experience or AccuForce wheels new to you um, you know after you loaded the program and stuff here you look on screen loaded the program all you do to get it working is you click on the plus and hit auto discovery and it's gonna you know auto discover of course based off of your games you have that it already did um, and uh, it's gonna pull up 
a version of cloud. Let's look at this ACC right here. It's a cloud version, and then there's a regular version. You can launch either one you want, and uh, I would suggest if you're like someone that likes to tinker a lot, you know, you can go ahead and just launch the regular non-cloud issue. But if you just want to plug and play, launch <laughs> launch the uh, ACC version of it. So now the owners club is gone. Uh, so the reason it's gone, from what I've seen from the forums from them, is that uh, there's a lot of trash there. There's a lot of junk uh, files there. And, and I get it, you know, people it's like, oh, what is this class, what is this, uh, uh, this owner's club form thing, and, and I can auto-save my combo up there. And then you got people that are starting now with AccuForce and think they got a really good setup, and then they'll, they'll, they'll send it out. Well, they may have been coming from a belt-driven wheel and, and think oversaturation is the way to go until they, you know, until they just get in tune with the, uh, with the wheel itself and then and, and discover you know, a tune that I did last year is it would be better this year because I know more about it, right? Um, same thing. So you know, they have have it back dating back from the beginning of time, and uh, so they purged it. You know, got rid of it. They may bring it back. We don't know. We'll see. You know, as time comes, it would be nice if they brought it back. I think uh, some people really like to do that tinkering, but again, you can tinker with what's what's there already. Uh, you can uh, start off with the cloud tuning. And uh, still add in, you want more engine vibration, add more engine vibration. You want more um, uh, road rumble effect, add more road rumble effect. You want more, less intensity, turn the intensity slider down. Uh, you can still leave it on default, high, whatever, as far as your profiles go. And uh, yeah, rock and roll with it. So, so you still have all the same settings here. I'll launch this one here real quick. What I did notice is that ones that games that don't have cloud tuning right uh what it does is is um uh, you'll see i guess you've got this auto profile from cloud sync data on and um when you cross the start finish line if it's one that i guess they're working on you'll feel a little jolt in your steering wheel and it's not every lap it doesn't seem like every lap but every few laps uh i guess if you have a clean lap uh it does it so same thing when you do auto tune uh, where you'd auto tune and you'd cross the start finish line, it would do a little jolt on your steering wheel because uh, it stopped the recording, right? And then started it again. Uh, so same thing. So I did notice that on one of the games that they were gathering information on, like AMS2 in the beginning. Uh, and then once they got cloud tuning for it, you don't have that issue no more. It's not really an issue, but it is noticeable uh, effect. <laughs> we unexpected effect when you go across the, the, the start finish line and then you're like, oh, shoot. So uh, that is one little thing I've noticed. I don't think it would happen if you were doing just the regular profile, uh, say like AMS2 without using the cloud tuning. You, you shouldn't have that problem. But uh, anyway, so yeah, foundation steering is not in effect just yet. Uh, for cloud tuning, uh, that is coming next month or so, I think. Uh, from what I've said, I may have just already said this a while ago. And uh, but yeah, once you get into say you let's say you like the cloud tuning, right? I don't know why you, you. Well, some games you may not like it. Some games you do. Now I've tested out ACC, I've tested out AMS2, and actually in AMS2, there's some cars out there I really had a difficult time getting it to feel right with the steering, and then when they launched the uh the cloud tuning on and i was happy to see that i ah, fixed my problem i don't have to mess with it no more i just go drive and have fun uh i racing works wonderful with it um yeah we we'll see i tried acc works really good and i had a really good tune for acc uh, that i pulled off the owner's club and i really liked it but uh yeah it's it's actually works uh really well too uh with all the cars out there now the GT4 cars, those are the ones that are, aren't on there yet. So you have to give them a little bit of time. The new release of GT4 cars and AMS, uh, ACC rather, uh, are not on there yet. And they're gathering that data. But again, that's on them to do. So <laughs> you just you try to wait patiently. But even, even though uh, it doesn't have the particular cloud tuning for those cars, I found it was actually pretty good even when I launched cloud tuning. But you could do an auto tune and run the laps and stuff just the same and get your perfect setup. If you're like me, uh, I can just live with it and roll with it until it comes out with an auto tune. But here, here's the settings, right? So the neat thing about it is you would chase your chase your tail a lot uh, when you were doing 
the old way, right? Uh, and that's why so many people save profiles to the owner's club because uh, someone would spend hours on a particular car and track combo and you really didn't need to spend that much time. Once you've learned en enough about the software, you can actually get a tune pretty quick or you can do an auto tune and get it even quicker, right? Uh, but I pretty much know where to set things up front and the effects I get through the wheel, uh, maybe a high pitched vibration back and forth of the wheel. I'll, I'll turn up the smoothing up here on this dial and that'll knock it right out. You know, uh, I'm getting too much of a, uh, uh, a jolt where that when you're steering and it's lumping, lumping, lumping through the, through the track very uh, abrasively, you know, I can turn up the smoothing a little bit, the game smoothing and smooth that out. Things like that you learn as you go. Uh, inertia does different things, friction and all that. But you have all those same settings here uh, still. But I, I found that really I don't need to mess with them. One thing I mess with is the engine RPM because I like a little bit more. It starts out for around 15. And you'll notice that every single one of these profiles start off with the exact same uh, profile. They always have gain force feedback at 95%, smoothing at 15, smoothing up here at 15, and the intensity at 100 and uh, everything else selected here as you see turned on and turned off right also the torque steer or the self-aligning torque is a way better now with the cloud tuning than I was able to set myself uh, I was able to get it pretty dang good but it seems smoother and more accurate and stronger when it when uh, say your tires come in uh, so when your tires come in and, and they're already when I say come in they get heated up after a couple laps you can really feel uh, them gripping really hard and, and, and forcing your wheel to self-align in, in a turn. So, man, really good stuff here. So, anyway, you know, it's it's great. Only thing I really mess with is, is engine RPM. Some games I'll turn on road bumps, and this defaults five, and I generally leave these alone, but uh, I'll crank it up to sometimes 100 is too much, but somewhere in here, you know, crank it up to your liking. But... You still have that tweaking. If you want to add more settings, you can add more settings in here and mess with it yourself. And it'll the cloud tuning will auto tune those frequencies for you, from what I read in the background uh, for you, based off of what you you said here, right? So, uh, but if you don't want the cloud tuning interfering with anything, of course, launch a regular regular app uh, for it. So, but I think that covers. You know, usually when I say I think it covers it all, I, I remember something else, but I'm thinking that recovers it all there. Auto-tuning is, I'm sorry, cloud tuning rather, is like your auto-tuning without the work. So give it a try if you haven't already. If you're new to the AccuForce, you're going to love it uh, because you will get lost in the sea of, uh, of settings here of what to pick and what to add and what not to add and, and uh, yeah it's just it's it's too much it's overwhelming uh, for a new user and then you're going to be spending hours looking on the forums and trying to figure out well what do you do for this I got oscillation problems now or this particular car or you get something set up perfect on this particular car and it works on all the damn tracks right and then you go switch cars and you're like oh, man it's got to start all over again it's too time consuming um, this fixes it all, so really good. It's a it's a godsend, man. It's a uh, really good. So anyway, I think it's a higher selling point now for AccuForce over the competition. I really don't care what wheel you you have. I like the AccuForce. That's what I'm rocking right now. Um, but uh, yeah, if you want the simplicity like you had, you played sim racing on consoles to where you get what you get and you don't throw a fit, right? Um, it's here now. Uh, you. you it, it feels good. You know, another thing you'll notice is in the beginning, the steering is actually really light uh, on the car until you start feeling the loads come in from turning and stuff. So it feels more natural like a regular car uh, that you drive a car you would use. And uh, so you don't have as much of that tire drag and stuff. But uh, it feels like power steering, basically. And uh, then as you start loading the tires, you feel it more. And then, of course, as the tires come in, you feel it appropriately even more so. I don't know, you get a really good rubbered in feeling without messing with all these settings like I've talked before in, in my other videos of showing you how to do it. So anyway, I, I rambled on enough about it. That's That covers uh, enough about the cloud tuning. I hope you enjoyed this. 
Uh, if you have any questions, don't ask me. I don't know. I'm just kidding. Uh, leave comments down below. I'll try to answer them the best I can and as uh, quick as I can as well because uh, that's what I do. I like to help. So anyway, we'll check you next time out on the track. Enjoy your cloud tuning. Go get you an AccuForce if you don't already have it. Best bang for the buck in my opinion. And uh, now it's even better with cloud tuning. So anyway, we'll check you later. I'm out.